Unfortunately, wading birds like curlew and, and lapwing and others like oyster catcher and uh, red shank are in severe decline um, here in Scotland. And the key reason for the declines is they've not been very productive during the breeding season. So during that April to June period is, is critical for these birds. So we're looking to try and encourage farmers to actually help with uh, providing of uh, feeding habitat, nesting habitat, and actually trying to reduce predation risk for the birds at that time. So there's a range of different ways that farmers can actually try and help wading, wading birds. Uh, the very simplest is trying to reduce the uh, intensity of grazing in the fields that they're actually nesting in during that sort of critical April to sort of June period. Otherwise, they might end up sort of trampling the eggs and the young chicks, or even being aware that birds are nesting in certain fields and ensuring you're not actually rolling the fields at that particular time. If you want to have more direct action, then actually ensuring that there's damp grassland, wet grassland, grassland that they can actually probe into and find the, the insects that, and, and earthworms that they need to eat. Creating that on the on, on your farm, either having a, 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 a damp field that you haven't actually drained, or even just edges of ditches, making sure that birds can get access to that, or going to the extent of actually creating small areas of wetland, what we call wader scrapes, on your farm can make a big, big, big difference. Some of what you can do in the farm will actually be helpful from the farming perspective as well. So it may seem counterintuitive to you, but actually liming your in-by fields and making sure that the pHs are high enough and the nutrient status are, are good for the grass is also good for the type of insects and invertebrates that live in the soil that these birds eat. Wading birds are in severe decline and um, we really need a wide range of land managers to be looking to see how they can actually help bird the birds and redress the, the declines into the sort of future. A, a new initiative called Working for Waders where a wide range of other organisations are getting together to actually help encourage farmers to take action on the ground. We really need engagement by farmers to help with that sort of process. Many people think now that waders like curlew and lapwing might be more of a, an upland moorland bird because that's where they're hanging on because gamekeepers are doing a lot of useful things for those birds. But actually historically uh, lapwing curlew existed well across Scotland and certainly in the sort of upland grassland farmland areas uh, as well as the sort of low and coastal areas. So there's lots that individual farmers can actually do and we would hope you'd be willing to actually engage in that sort of process. What you can do for waders on the farm will be able to fit into most farms and in many cases improving the grassland productivity will actually help both the farm and the waders themselves.